a long time ago, before the age of humans, the volcanic beasts took form and spewed fire into the sky. The air burned, the oceans boiled, and thus began perhaps the biggest weather event in the history of our planet that somehow I'd never even heard of until recently. It was called the Carnian Pluvial Event, and based off of extensive geologic evidence being found worldwide supporting this event, it is believed that it may have rained for anywhere between... Wait, no. I'm not going to tell you just yet. First, let's go back in time. It's planet Earth, some 230 million years ago. The continents we know of now are all connected into a massive megacontinent called Pangaea. Like our modern day continents, the coast of Pangaea is lush and humid. But the land is so massive that moisture rarely makes it into the interior, a place nearly void of life. In the far west of Pangaea, the Rangelian Titans, a vast string of ancient volcanoes that are now seen in western Canada, awoke from their slumber, erupting lava, ash, methane, and carbon dioxide into the air for an estimated one to six million years. Eventually, that mixture of methane and carbon dioxide, also known as the most powerful greenhouse gases on Earth, warmed the oceans quickly and dramatically which led to more evaporation into the atmosphere, which led to more cloud cover, which led to more rain, which fed back to the oceans, and the water cycle continued until it got so big that clouds actually covered the interior. And then one day, it rained. And then it rained the next day, and then the next week, and the next month, the next year, the next decade, the next century, the next millennia. Okay, I'll cut to the chase. The fossil records reveal that it rained for between one and two million years. No, seriously. That's like 20,000 Betty Whites. And as you can imagine, that kind of rain is going to change everything. And it did. Species that had learned to live in arid desert were quickly rendered extinct, and so were about 35% of ocean species. But this was not a typical mass extinction event. The event actually allowed some species to thrive. Since the planet was now covered in lush vegetation and had a more tropical type climate, one species went from about 5% of the population before the event to being 95% of the population after the event. And can you guess who they were? That's right, the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs rose to prominence because of the conditions the Carnian Pluvial event created and they ruled the Earth for about 165 million years, or about 1,666,666 Betty Whites. That is, until about 65 million years ago, it rained again. But this time, just one massive rock, which gave rise to us humans, who have been around for about two million years. Huh. You know, if you think about it, Rain fell on Earth during the Carnian Pluvial event for the same length as the entire time that humans have walked the Earth so far. Oh man, not again. For Central Oregon Daily News, I'm meteorologist Scott Elmer. Does anybody know how to build an ark?